All right, ranked seasons. Didn't play at all last year. Stopped a little bit early in 22, Focus on franchise. We're going to try to do it here, and we're going to try and do it with a cardinal theme team. So my idea for this was as many Cardinals as possible within reason. And then if you are someone that used to play on the Cardinals, you fill the role. So we will have, technically I could use this Crawford card because it's better than the Crawford card now. Um, McCovey did not, so he's off the team. So what I would like to do is have Stan play in right. Tommy Edmonds, since you know I love him so much, but it's short. Trout obviously hasn't played on the Cardinals. So he can come off the team too. Here's Dylan Carlson. Forgot about him. That could be a switch hitter. It's not really a, a righty, but that works. So Victor will play in center. Matt Holiday will play him left to the surprise of probably no one. Okay. So Holiday and left. Victor in center, Stan in right. Goldie at first. Gorman at second. Edmund short. Arnado's captain card at third. Harp, our captain at DH, and Contreras at catcher. For the bench, I will use this Crawford card since he is currently a Cardinal. It's a better version of what I have. I'm actually going to have new bar here. Condemn Dylan Carlson because I do need another righty. It'll have to be him, Jordan Walker. So we have essentially kind of two righties, two definitive lefties. Then when you look at the bullpen, it's the same thing. Anyone that has pitched for the Cardinals or is a Cardinals card. So that's why Andrew Miller is there because he is a former Cardinal. Obviously, we have a ton of Cardinal cards. We're going to have to add some other players because this bullpen is definitely not going to be great. That's better. I got to find guys who have pitched for the Cardinals that I can use that I have. And that was the problem because there are some cards out there that I could use, but I don't have them. Could I buy them? Sure. I already spent some money or money, well, stubs on players to the rotation and adding Victor Scott. So I didn't want to dip too much. So we're probably just going to have to run with what we've got. Is it great? No. Well, we'll just have to do the best we can. Obviously, we hope we don't have to go to the bullpen too much early on. That's going to be the hope. This bullpen is not great. You can see Miller. Cool. Guy goes. Feel confident. Suter. Mm, it's been interesting pitching with him. Not great. Hel Elsley, of course, and Gallegos, I feel confident with Romero. I've been struggling with him in franchise, so I'd be nervous about using him. You need a couple lefties, so I've got three lefties and five righties. So that'll work. I mean, it's either Sandy or a gold, or not a gold. Uh, uh, I could use Montgomery. Or I could use Gibson. So I would use Gibson and he would get a 10 boost across the board pretty much. I think actually I'll go that route instead. It ends up being boosted up to an 82. That's not bad. So you can see the difference. That's his actual card. And then that's what his ratings look like with the boost. So a lot of these players definitely look a lot better because of that boost. Because some of them will be difficult to pitch with. Hitting wise, obviously the boost helps out a lot. New bar. Almost 100 contact. Walker, 93. Got solid power from both sides. Carlson, 100 against lefties. Cart, clearly OP. Contreras, not bad. 89 power. Goldie, 
definitely a lefty killer anyway, even more so. Gorman has immense power now with that boost. Edmund, 79 against lefties. That'll be huge for him. Arenado, contact against lefties is low, but we can make that work. I also have the option of using this card. I won't, but that is also something I could potentially do too. Holiday, solid power. Vic will have great contact, decent power against righties, and then Stan, maxed out contact power. For the lineup, Victor will lead off. We'll go Edmund, Carp, Arenado, Gorman. Normally I have Stan bat higher, but I'm going to have Stan bat lower with this team. Goldie six, Stan, and then Edmund will turn the lineup over. Rotation is pretty straightforward, nothing super crazy there. That'll be lineup, and then the last thing, the boost. The big reason why we're able to do this. 15 power with carp from both sides, or versus both hands, handedness. Same thing with contact, so all batters that are cardinal batters get a 15 boost for contact and for power. Pitchers, 10 hit per nine, 10 clutch. 10K per nine, 10 walk per nine. So a boost across the board for all Cardinal pitchers. So even though the bullpen is not great, you can see the change. A common turns to a 70, 72 turns to 80, 76, 82. Hells is a 91, Romero's an 81. So that definitely helps out a lot. We're gonna run this team in rank and we will see how it goes. Do I expect it World Series? No. But it'll be fun to try and see how far we can get. Dipping in the rank. First time this year. No co-op. So, a couple of things. Season ends in a week. How far can we make it? We'll see. Will we hit World Series? Definitely not. But within a week, I think we could probably at least get that. So, 150 would be nice. Because Tyler O'Neill, that card could be, you know, useful for a Cardinal theme team. So we have a couple of things to look at. Strikeouts, hits, runs, total bases, and then PXP. Innings. This will happen and probably, I don't think we'll get to the 50 tonight, today, but we'll get that for sure. Nine innings. Um, I don't know how far we'll get on those. We'll make some good progress. Second. Repeatable, get on base every 20 hits. Cool. Home runs. We'll see. A lot to do here. So a lot of points out there. Higher difficulty. That means having to reach Hall of Fame. So getting closer to World Series, have to get there. That's cool. So it gives you something to work towards. If we get this, we're taking Randy Johnson. I'm sure that comes as no surprise. McCutcheon along the way, Jumbo Pack would be cool. Some XP because I haven't played, so there's a lot of XP. And then the Millionaire Pack, so we'll see how things go.